My name is Outback Foster. We're gonna find me a Silvera Squatch. The Silvera Squatch is a mysterious and solitary creature. Being the only one of its kind, it is completely cut off from all civilization. Until now. Hi there. Most of you know the name of the animal that roams these hills. The Silvera Squatch. Commonly known to the locals as Casey. We've been tracking Casey for many months now, trying to get in his head, see how he thinks. Today, I think we have that opportunity. We're gonna find him. I'm looking here at the Squatcher's track, and judging by the direction, he's headed south. We're getting close. I've discovered the beast's nest. So what I'm gonna do now is plant some bait. What are you doing in my house? I found him! Yeah, good job. Peaceful. I understand English. Peaceful. I understand English. Peaceful. Good job. Go ahead. He seems to be speaking some sort of strange dialect. I'm gonna have to use a few different tactics if I'm gonna interview him. I'm joined here by Casey, the Silvera Squatch. Hi Casey. How's it going? Can I offer you some beef jerky? Thanks, I'm a vegetarian. Doesn't seem to want it. I wonder why. Casey, I'm going to do my best to interview you. I can't really understand what you're saying, so I'm going to try anyway. Well, you're clearly an imbecile. Speaking Anyway. First question, where did you come from? Uh, hmm. Jeez, came from where? I didn't really pick up on that, so we're gonna go to one of my friends who's an expert on the Silvera Squatch. Oh, hello. My name is Dr. Van Herst Lebenstein. As I said, I have been designated to talk to you about the Silvera Squatch. Now, the Silvera Squatch has been sighted in two different places. One, in the northern part of OSA, and two, there have been a sighting three years ago in southern Texas. Now, never once has there been a sighting of a Silvera Squatch on the eastern seaboard, but that can only mean that he has migrated. Where is his natural home? I don't know. Can we find out? Absolutely. Thank you, Doctor. Next question. Who is your favorite Care Bear? Oh bear. man, Bear. Ra, Bear. Oh man, the Care Bears? Definitely the light blue one. Pass it. I got some of that. I got something about spaghetti and birds. All right, Casey, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a pretty average silver squash. I, I roam in the woods, I listen to some music, and um, I eat berries. Okay, didn't really pick up on that. I don't know if you watching at home did, but uh, that's all right. Right, next question. Casey, if you were in a fight, you could pick three songs that would play while you're in that fight. What three songs would you play? Oh man, a fight? Three songs. Definitely doing Recreant by Chelsea Gray. Doing the rock theme song. I feel as if that's cliche, but I mean, it's the rock theme song. Probably something by Avenged Sevenfold. Anything would work. For those of you who couldn't understand that, you're not alone. Okay. What kind of music do you like? Music. I like everything. 
I heard country. I'm going to go with country. Country. Okay, see, so follow-up question. Who is your favorite musical group? Avenged Sevenfold, hands down. Yep, Avenged Sevenfold is, in fact, a great band. Casey, if you resurrected the Rev, Jimmy the Rev, drummer, Avenged Sevenfold, drummer, drummer, if you could resurrect the Rev for a week, how would you spend that week? Oh, man, seeing as Jimmy's definitely my hero, oh, if I had him for a week, we hang out for the first couple of days. I pick his brain, get some stories, get some knowledge of the music business. And then I'd fly him out to California. We could all hang out with Avenged Sevenfold. We could time. Heard pick his brain. I don't know if brains in the Silvera Squatch diet. So I'm gonna go to me doctor for another piece of information, doctor. What is that in my face? Oh, yes, it's that, right, it's that. No, the Silvera Squatch will either eat snails squirrels, seagulls, or bison. Now, depending on what time of year it is, the Severa will eat different foods for different seasons. In the winter, squirrels. In the spring, snails. In the summer, bison. And in the fall, seagulls. Now, if none of these animals are available, the Severa will eat muffins. Perfect, thank you, Doctor. Moving on. Casey. Since this is in your habitat, if you were dropped in the middle of a jungle, what would your escape strategy be? Hmm, jungle. I'd definitely try and find a river and swim my way out. River's gotta lead to an ocean at some point, right? I'm gonna say right, just anyway. Don't really know what he said. Right, right, Casey, right. Absolutely. Okay, Casey, what scares you? Bugs, spiders, insects, not a fan. Alright then. Did you catch any of that? No, nope, me neither. Anyway. This might be a tough one, Case. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Gotta say Iceland. Definitely in Iceland right now. It's nice and green this time of year. Oh, yeah. You're so respectful. Oh! Nothing. Oh. Anyway. Casey, it has been an absolute pleasure to interview you. I didn't, I experienced so much. Didn't pick up on a lot. I don't know if you did, but I experienced so much. Picked up that year, didn't you? I believe I've just been complimented. Thank you, Casey. Peace. Peace, Casey. Peace. We'll see you next time. Casey, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure having you. Still no idea what you said. Of course not. <sighs> Fucking beast. What? Oh no.